there's never been a worse time to buy a house over renting. What? A recent National Wall Street Journal article says that there has never been a worse time to buy a house over renting. It goes on to say it is now 52% more expensive to buy a home than to rent one because of climbing mortgage rates. So what? So what? My question to you is, does it really matter? Clients I've spoken with that grew up in the 1960s told me how interest rates on their first home was around 15%. They also say that their first home cost around $50,000. You can see in the graph that home prices have only increased over time, while interest rates continue to flop all over the place. You may want to take advantage of home prices in a flat or down market, even if mortgage rates are high. In short, you can always refinance when mortgage rates go down. We have lenders that offer a 3 to one buy-down, which can get you interest rates back near record lows. And don't forget about the amazing tax benefits of owning a home versus renting. Let's take a look at an example. you got a $350,000 mortgage with a $2,800 payment. That's $1,700 in interest, $300 in principal, and $800 in property taxes and insurance. To rent that same home would be about $2,600. So are you losing money owning the home for $2,800 versus renting for $2,600? Consider that renting is giving all that $2,600 away. Owning gives that $300 principal as equity. The $1,700 in interest and property taxes will give you a massive write-off. We aren't even taking into effect the appreciation of your property. Imagine owning a home before 2020. Many homes have appreciated over 30% in just a few years. On average, home prices increase over time. This means you build equity even faster. Now, does renting a home still make sense? Only you can decide, but we would love to crunch some numbers to see if owning is right for you. Don't put this off. Don't wait another minute. Contact us today and we can see if homeownership is right for you. See you around the neighborhood.